Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, we, of course, are looking at the known issues on Windows 11 24H2. Microsoft has fixed in the past few days one blocker for those that were um, not seeing the upgrade to Windows 11 24H2. Um, one of the blockers was uh, with the Bluetooth problems. So uh, if you had Bluetooth audio devices that have direct audio uh, with the uh, DLL file, which is uh, CRID SPAPO, um, there was a problem that uh, created issues, and uh, this has been resolved which means that if you had a blocker for that, you might see Windows 11 24H2 now appear uh, on your system. Another uh, problem that was discussed that is fixed is that uh, the uh, MSI repair operations, when you would click a Microsoft installer file, uh, it could crash uh, with a uh, user account control uh, that would not show up to say that there's modifications going to be done, so it would just crash because it couldn't complete the operations. That also is resolved. Um, so the other thing resolved in previous days is um, problems with NDI streaming performance. So this is also something good uh, where there was severe stuttering lag and choppy audio video. Uh, and uh, including in software like OBS Studio, if you were a streamer and you found that something was wrong, well, that is resolved also. Now, there's a, quite a few things that are still confirmed and not fixed. Uh, there are a few uh, problems uh, in Windows 11 24H2 that still can be an issue and could still be a blocker for some of you um, And in these times where... Moving to 24H2 is going to be something you want, especially when it gets 23H2 gets end of support in November. But uh, if you're using wallpaper customization tools, there's a mitigation that can be done, uh, aka <laughs> stop customizing your wallpaper. Uh, devices with apps that uh, use the S Protect uh, driver. Uh, is a confirmed problem that's still not fixed, and this dates back to April. Uh, some camera that use um, applications uh, can become unresponsive in certain cases. This is something that's way back from October 2024. And another one from October 2024, smart sound technology drivers could still be affected by problems in some cases. Uh, with uh, Windows 11, uh, a lot of it has to do with, you know, maybe the manufacturer trying to get device fixed, but uh, you could blue screen, could have issues. If you have the uh, smart sound technology drivers, it is still confirmed for some devices, and this dates back also to October. A lot of that, of course, was uh, about, well, trying to... Um, find an update from the manufacturer which not always is not always there and doesn't always come very fast so uh, anyways we'll continue looking at this and as we get into 25h2 we'll have 25h2 known issues that will eventually happen probably so we'll look at that i'm sharing this page in the description below if you want to go and check out the, the uh, known issues uh, by yourself if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.